Howdy. I'm going to show in this video how I set up the DTR device for direct inflation. Um, Chuck does sell a kit to do this. I find his kit to be a little less user friendly and I think that this is quicker and easier. What I do is you take your DTR bell with your gripper installed. You'll take a piece of quarter inch vinyl tubing and cut it oh, approximately two and a half inches in length. You will take a quarter inch brass ferrule fitting. These are available on Amazon, they're available on eBay, they're available at most hardware stores. They're a couple bucks. You'll take your brass ferrule fitting and you'll see that one end is flared. You're going to insert the non-flared end into the tubing. If you find it difficult to insert, you can lube it with a little rubbing alcohol, but you don't typically want to use water because it will not dry. So once you have your ferrule fitting installed in your tubing, you'll run the tubing through the base of the bell, and you'll feel when you get to the flare of that ferrule fitting that it will start to grip inside because that ferrule fitting will expand your tubing slightly and then provide your seal. If this is snug on yours you can take a pin and use the tip of the pin to push a little harder and get it set in there nice and snug so that it is sealed. You now have your tubing coming through the top. I have these one-way diaphragm valves. I don't like the red and black uh, aquarium valves. I find that they wear out very quickly. They're very cheaply made. These are made from uh, PTFE and uh, Viton seals and I've been using this one for probably two years. I occasionally uh, make sure I blow water all the way through it when I clean my device. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but you can see that there is an arrow on this device to let you know what the direction of flow is. If you're questioning it, you can blow into one side and you'll get air through. Try to blow in the other side, you get nothing. Obviously, we're going to want our air going in, so we're going to direct that arrow pointed going into our device. Again, if this is snug, you can lube it with a little rubbing alcohol, which I'm going to have to do here. Just get a little rubbing alcohol on there and you should be able to slide that in. You want to make sure that you get all the way over the top of the barb and you're now basically set for your inflation and what I do from there is I'll take another piece of tubing 
and I'll cut it approximately 12 to 18 inches long so that I can install this temporarily install the second piece of tubing just lightly over the top I can blow into the device until I have the desired pressure and then air will stay in there remarkably well just based on the seal of this one-way valve I find this to be cheaper, easier, more discreet than the setup that Chuck offers. All in total, it probably costs about $9, and that includes your uh, 20 foot of tubing, and usually it's two of these valves that come in most sales as well as two of the brass ferrule fittings so hopefully that is helpful as well for setting up the DTR for inflation if you're having trouble with leak by on your skin or you're having trouble with grip again like in my other video you can double up your grippers with inflation, I recommend using solid grippers, not the gripper with holes. I just had that on there from the DTR uh, initial assembly video. But I recommend using the solid grippers with air because they seem to hold the pressure better. Thanks for watching.